On today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to learn how to use Canva to add images and words to slides for your video podcast. So let's dive in. We have had many of you ask, how can you add images with text on it, for example, a Bible verse or even video that is more dynamic with quotes or a Bible verse to add it to your podcast. So let's go ahead and we are going to use Canva to create those extra pieces that then you can transfer over into your video editing software and use it there. So we are going to go to the size presentation 16 by nine. You can grab it here. If you don't find it on this first row, you can also go to templates and on templates, go to business, then presentations. So let's go in there and take a look. Oh, it logged me out real quick. Let's go back in. And we're just going to presentations. Perfect. So what you will see is that, of course, they have such a long list of different templates that you can use. So for example, let's say you wanted to put a Bible verse on one of these. You can just go in, find the one that you like, and say, oh, I love this one. I even love the colors. You could just change the, the uh, wording if you wanted to and then go ahead and you could just press this and download as a PNG, press, press download and you would be fine. If you wanted to change the colors, you can just drag this element out of the way, the little dots, and then click into the color, click up here, and then grab, let's say, one of your brand colors and then bring it back and you're good to go. All right, so that's one way that you can do it and of course, they have such a large assortment of different ones. You know, you could always, let's say, exchange it for that. Now, one word of caution, you want to make sure that the font that you are using, people can actually see it on mobile. Most viewers will be mobile, so don't use something with too much script. It will get lost as it, uh, as it gets smaller in size. So let's uh, make sure we keep that in mind. Let's take a look at something else that you can do. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna erase all of these things. Look at all the different elements that they use to create that, that's kind of fun. Okay, so let's pretend this is blank. What if you want to use your own picture that goes along with your brand or just it goes along with whatever you're talking about? You can come over here to photos and then you can grab usually uh, nice ones to use are like landscapes because it's not too busy. You can also uh, just search for, you know, depending on what you're talking about, you can feel free to search. They have hundreds of thousands of images, but I'm just gonna grab this one here. And then I can go to my text and I can add in something like God's promises. And I can make it nice and big. I can change the color by clicking this right here, text color, and voila, you have another image that you can use. Once again, you click the arrow, you come to file type, PNG, and then you download. Now, let's say you wanted to use a video just to spice it up a little bit. You can definitely do that. Just come over here to the videos area. Now, if you do not see it, in this bar here, I want you to come all the way down to more and you will probably find it in one of these areas. As soon as you use one of the things in the more section, then it hops on over to this side. So uh, I recently used it and that's why I can find it easily up here. So I'm just gonna click videos. And once again, you can choose whatever kind of video you would like to use. I'm just gonna grab this one here and I'm going to drag it over until it fits right in, and there it goes. So while you're talking, you could have the verse come up, and you could have it even if you want. Uh, you can add effects to your, to your wording. You can have it be like a drop shadow. 
Uh, you can have it have like a little glow around it. There are a lot of different options here. You can even curve it if you wanted to. You don't need to though. And you can also come over here and you can animate it. So for example, it can come up to the side here. It just gives you all the different examples of how you can have the words come up. You can have it also come as a typewriter. So let's say you're saying something, today I'm talking about God's promises and it will come up almost like you're speaking and typing at the same time. So that's kind of fun. Uh, there's bold writing, bursts. They've added quite a few different animations, which is really fun. And so you can go ahead and do that for the video. What you're going to want to do is click the down arrow, go to file type, and then choose MP4 video so that it comes out as a video as well. Just click download and it will go straight there. So a lot of different options for you as you start creating these add-ons. Another fun thing that you can do if you wanted to highlight a specific word, let's say, or a specific text, is that you can go into the elements section and in the elements section, sometimes you will find it on here, sometimes you won't. But what you can do, let's say if I wanted to do an arrow, okay? If you go to arrow, you can find all of these mobile arrows, these little animated elements, okay? So let's say I had this one right here. I could just make it smaller and then I can turn it and let's say I wanted that specific word to be highlighted the whole time, then it will go at the same time that the video is running as well. So that's pretty great because you can just keep adding on. Now, don't get too crazy and add too many things on because then that's distracting. But if it's something that serves the purpose to highlight something, you can also, they have like, um, little circles where it, it'll pop up and you can draw a circle around a specific word as well. Uh, you can do that. I can show you really quickly. How about let's do circle. And let's move down here. Here we go. So let's say I wanted to add this circle and they have many, many more around the word gods, I could do that like that. And then it would have that while it's running, it would be circling that specific word. So there are a lot of different ways, like I said, that you can go ahead and create some very nice enticing visuals that will keep the attention span of those watching. Of course, having yourself there is very important it doesn't always have to be that way. Like I said, depending on your brand, you can be as creative as you want, but this is a great option here in Canva to go ahead and add in these little slides that you're going to be using for your video podcast. I hope you enjoyed how simple this is, and we will see you next time on the next Tech Tuesday.